As the world turns to blunt burns Watch them cunts learn Fashion icon Audrey Hepburn I move Keith You hold your one turn If you get one turn and one earn What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Felicia Renee and of course, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Also, before we get into the video, you already know what I'm going to say. Stop what you're doing, hit that subscribe button and then turn on your post notifications so that way you'll get notified every time that I upload a new video and you won't miss out. Uh, so as you guys can see by the title today, is going to be a makeup tutorial, kind of like using my or giving my first impressions using new products that I've just recently purchased. I wanted to give like my honest review, give a demo of it and maybe give you guys some recommendations on products to pick up so let me stop talking without further ado let's just go ahead and get right into the video okay so let's go ahead and hop right into moisturizing our skin my face is already clean so for today's moisturizer I'm going to be using the new Clinique dramatically different hydrating jelly and it's supposed to be a 24 hour um, hydration uh, moisturizer and it's also for like anti-pollution so this is one of their new formulas that they just came out with and it is a water-based jelly and I absolutely love the way this stuff feels on my skin it doesn't leave it it doesn't leave it feeling like I have a lot of product but it gives it that moisture that it needs and it just gives it a very smooth texture so this is definitely going to be coming a part of my staple products I bought it last week and I've been using it a couple times and you guys if you are already familiar with my channel you know I use the um, dramatically different gel which is the yellow one um, and like I said this is a new one so yeah this is going to be one of my new faves I absolutely love it and if you do have oily skin I think this will be great for you it is for all skin types and like I said it's a water based formula so it's not going to leave your skin feeling oil oily it's oil free um, so next one of the next things that I uh, picked up is the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer and every time that I would go to pick this up it was sold out in the store so finally I went to Sephora like last week and it was in stock and I was just so happy I definitely had to pick it up I've heard some great things about it but of course I want to give it a try for myself um, the thing it just comes in this little box and then you just it also comes with like this little scoop thing with their little symbol on and I guess you're supposed to scrape the uh, the primer out but I'm just gonna use my hands but anyways this is how it looks if you've never seen it before and I can't remember exactly how much I paid for it may have been like 58 or something but if I can remember I'll just link it down below and it comes in this little jar it looks like it has a lot of product but I'm not gonna use the scooper thing I'm just gonna use my finger and pick up a kind of generous amount and I'm going to smooth that onto my skin and I'm really going to focus it more towards my like t-zone area where I have the most pores and then smooth I really love the way this stuff smells like it just smells amazing it smells so fresh I kind of want to lick it to see how it tastes <laughs> I'm always getting the problem with licking product or if it smell good like that Too Faced powder definitely tasty no <laughs> but for real this stuff makes my skin feel so smooth sorry I'm just looking into the mirror I'm gonna focus a little bit on my forehead that's where I'm really gonna concentrate it in my t-zone area like I said and then I'm going to put a light layer around the perimeters of my face so I ain't trying to run through this stuff because it is expensive. Okay, you guys, so already I'm obsessing over this primer. I absolutely love the way it smells. Um, it smells so fresh and it's not like a super st strong scent. But yeah, I love the way it makes my skin feel already. Um, now let's, I'm going to go ahead. I was going to do my eyes first, but I'm just going to start off with foundation so just before I go into my foundation I am gonna color correct just a little bit like on these little spots where I had like acne scarring and I'm picking up the this is the BH cosmetics cream contour kit this is my first time trying it um, I do have the Anastasia one so I picked this one up it wasn't very much it was maybe like seven seven to ten dollars but anyways I feel like hey why not 
save some money see how it works so I think I'm just gonna go ahead I'm gonna use the orange shade of course to color correct and I'm just using my Mikasa E220 brush to pick that up and I'm just gonna lightly place it on those scars And I don't know, this one is decent, I guess, for the price. Like, what did I really expect? It doesn't seem like it's, like, super thick like the Anastasia one. So I guess this would just be something that I would lightly use maybe on an everyday. And then if I'm really trying to cover something and just be, like, a full face, like, beat down, then I would just use my Anastasia one. But it's decent. It's not bad. I'm also going to use it to cream contour once I put my foundation on also to see how that blends out. Okay, so jumping right into foundation, I'm going to be using the new CoverGirl, um, the True Matte or True Blend Matte Made Foundation. And it's supposed to be like a transfer resistant foundation. Uh, it is oil free. It's a, supposed to be a comfortable matte filling. I picked up the shade T80. Um, and I guess it's supposed to be a 12 hour matte. I don't know. I thought I seen it saying that it was supposed to be 24 hours, but the bottle looks like it says 24 hours. But yeah, I'm not going to dwell on that. I do like it. It has the pump. And like I said, I picked up the shade C, I mean T80. And I'm just going to squirt that onto my face. And I, these pumps, I feel like you get a generous amount. All right, now we're going to see. I'm just going to see. I may add some more. Matter of fact, I'll just go ahead and put it on my forehead. But we're going to see how this blends out. And I'm going to see how I really like it. I'm going to be using my Morphe M44 brush. M444 brush. I always mess up every time I try to say that. But anyways, yes, I'm just going to take that and blend it into my skin. What's around? Okay, so I feel like this brush maybe kind of soaked up the foundation. I don't know. This was kind of like the first layer. I may should have, I should have put a little bit more on my forehead, but it seems pretty decent so far. Um, it's not drying super matte, so I think this. I would say this foundation is more of like a semi matte. Um, we'll see how it you know after a while after it really sets in and excuse me and to see you know how it feels once i actually set my entire face but i'm just going to go back in with like a second uh light layer or light layer and i'm going to use i'm sorry i'm going to use my new sigma 3d hd 3d hd beauty blender i absolutely love this one because it's slanted it has like three different sides it has the two flat sides and then it has the more round side and then a flat side right here and then it's a really sharp like point so i think this is going to be great till i really get underneath my eyes uh, and i was waiting to use this um beauty blender till i did like the new products or my first impressions video and i couldn't wait i was trying to hold out but i did a good job uh, but yeah, definitely excited to see how this blends out the foundation. And I'm just going to take the flat side and go ahead and blend that out. Okay, so I just applied that layer with the Beauty Blender. And I would say so far for this foundation, it doesn't seem like it's super matte. Like I just did a review on the new NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop foundation. And that one says it's matte. And I feel like 
that was like definitely a matte foundation it was like drying to a powder finish with this one i still feel like you kind of like see a sheen or a gloss to it which i'm not going to say it's a bad thing um i do have combination oily skin but i feel like this one is a more buildable foil full um medium to buildable full like depending on your skin type how many blemishes you have i don't feel like this is like that kat von d full coverage you ain't seeing nothing lock it tattoo no nah, this is not that um but i mean i would definitely still wear this and use just use this just depending on the look that i'm going for do i want to be a little bit more natural or still be like kind of matte but dewy um but yeah so far that's my thoughts on this foundation um so i'm just gonna go ahead and just skip to concealer and we'll finish anything else like uh, with like the cream contour or powder so for concealer i'm going to be using the sephora this is the butterscotch 11.5 um this is the bright future gel serum concealer and i haven't used this on my channel i actually had this for a little while but i have i didn't have a new concealer that i was trying out so yeah, I just figured I would use this one since I never showed this on my channel before. And actually, I only used this a few times. Um, I can't remember how I liked it. I probably didn't like it as much as my NARS. That's probably why I uh, haven't been using it so much. But yeah, I'm just going to take that and place it in my high points and high areas that I'm supposed to highlight. You know. Okay, so now that I have that in place, I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my the BH Cosmetic Studio Pro um, Concealer Palette. And I'm going to take that and I'm going to contour or, yeah, put the darker shades to contour. Hold on, let me get a brush that I'm going to use. I'm just going to use this little brush that I got from Marshalls. And I'm going to actually use the, I think I'm going to try to mix these two shades right here. If you can see it, one seems a little bit more like chestnut. It's not like caramel chestnut. And then the other one is a little bit darker. So I'm just going to mix those two together and place around like my forehead and everywhere else that I'm supposed to contour. Duh. So before I, build, before I blend out my contour, I'm going to use the pointy side of this beauty blender and just blend in my concealer. Okay, so before I blend out my under eye concealer, because I want to go ahead and set that as soon as I blend it out, I'm just going to go in with my e.l.f. Stip, small stippling brush, and I'm just going to go ahead and blend out that contour first. A little bit more right here um while I'm waiting while while I blend and let that sit while I blend out my under eye concealer life is, is just always mysterious and surprising you never know what's around the next corner you never, you never know what's around the next corner Around the next 
Okay, so for powder, I'm going to use a new setting powder. But first, I want to just use my MAC Studio Fix um, powder in the shade NC42. To um, I'm just going to lightly dust that over the concealer before I set it. And this is one of the new, like, kind of like baking or setting methods that I have been trying out. Um, to see if it gives me a more flawless and smooth look. So first I'm just kind of lightly tapping out any creases. And then I'm going to take my Juvia's Place like a pointed brush. And I'm just going to pick up that powder. And I love this brush because it has a pointed edge. And I'm going to lightly like tap that into my under eye. Okay, to set my face or bake, I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. This is, in, this is in the shade 30, medium deep. And it has like a sifter. I didn't, um, I have never used this to set. I just bought this the other day. But I did open it up already to kind of see the coloring of the powder. Like to see how it looked outside of the packaging. So it just like kind of got all over the cap if you can see that. So what I'm going to do is, matter of fact, I'm just going to take my Beauty Blender sponge and whatever's left over at the top or that has gotten gotten out of the sifter, I'm going to take that and put pick that up on my sponge and I'm going to lightly press that into my skin. And this powder is not as bad as I thought it would be. I feel like it's more of a neutral, like it's not super bright. Um, maybe I can go pick up, this is 30, maybe I can pick up 25. But yeah, it's it's not bad at all. I would definitely like try it again. Just to like really see and kind of give my thoughts. But yeah, I'm just taking that and placing that everywhere. And I picked this up from Walmart. It was like six bucks. I'm definitely excited to go on to bronzer because I feel like I'm looking casket sharp. But don't worry. Please don't judge. Never judge by the first part of makeup. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that first process uh, or the beginning process is because it has to all come together. And y'all know I'm going to make it work. I'm not going out like this. Like, look at this. Looking super harsh, but... Yeah, I'm just dusting away the excess powder. Then I'm going to go back in with the fluffier brush. And this is a brush from Julia's Place. And I love their, I absolutely love their brushes. Their brushes are so freaking soft. Just bomb. Okay, so moving on to the contour and bronzing up my face. I'm going to be using my Park Avenue or, yeah, Park Avenue Princess Palette from Tarte. And this is a contour palette. And I absolutely love the packaging on this. It is just so sleek and sexy. Um, this, like, crocodile skin with the gold, like the copper. It's just so pretty. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take, uh, let's see. I'm going to, I don't know what I want to do. I'm going to take my It's My Ray Ray number one brush and I'm going to take the shade Angled. So it's the shade right here. And it looks, I think it looks a little bit lighter on camera, but it looks like a little cocoa, like a light cocoa um, color. And I'm going to take that to warm up my face so I don't look like a ghost. 
We don't want that, sis. No, we don't. And bras up and bring in that forehead because I do got a five head. But I don't care because I'm still cute. Okay, so now for now for my darker contour shade, I'm going to take the shade Crown, and it's this one. It's the darkest one, and I'm going to take my Sephora number. I think it's my number 38 brush. I can't remember. The writing has kind of came off, and I'm just going to take a little bit of that and lightly sweep it into my cheeks. Okay, so moving on to blush. We're going to be using a new palette today. This is the Juvia's Place Saharan Blush Palette Volume 2. And it just looks like this. And it comes with six different blushes. And this palette is so gorgeous. I'm so excited to try this. It actually comes with six different blushes. It comes with four mattes and two shimmer blushes. So these are the two matte on this side, two matte on this side, and then these two are like shimmer blushes. And I feel like these will be very pretty for like toppers. Um, also, I think I may try to use this one as like a pretty pearl pink highlight. I really love these. Um, they're a little bit darker. But I feel like you get a variety of blushes in this palette. So excited. So I'm not even sure which one that I want to go for. I think I'm going to just play it safe first. And I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use the shade Ta. And it's this like pretty like orangish one. And I'm going to take my, um, it's my Ray Ray number three brush. I'm going to lightly tap into that and tap it off and bring it on my cheeks. Because uh, Juvia's Place is known to have um, very pigmented everything. Shadows, blushes. That's pigment for you. Like, is it showing up, honey? I'm finna be around here looking like a little cherry ball. But I love it because it's a peach tone, like orange brush uh blush i'm just gonna go over it make sure it's blended in and then i'll wipe away any excess oh my god what okay i just found my new favorite blush palette i may need to go back over with the contour it's so like strong i feel like you may be overpowering my uh my contour Okay, so moving on to eyes, I'm going to be using the Milani um, Pure Passion Palette. And they first came out with two of these, like the Bold Obsessions and the Most Love Mattes. Now, this is a new one that they just came out with. It's called Pure pa Passion. And I don't know if it's picking up or if the camera is making it like the reflection. Fly back at y'all, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, um... I really love this palette. It is so pretty. It has a lot of like warm, pinky, uh, mauve cranberry type of shades. And it looks like this. It has shimmers and mattes. It's so pretty. I'm not even sure what color that I want to go with. Um, I really don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know! No, I'm just playing. Okay, so we're just going to wing it. We just gonna go. We just gonna go with the flow. Um, I feel like my eyes should be bright enough. Um, I don't know if I want to put the concealer on. Well, that may be okay. I'm just gonna put a little bit of concealer. I don't know why I'm discombobulated. I'm gonna use a little bit of my Tarte Shape Tape. <clears throat> I don't know why. Um, I can't seem to talk today. But yes, I'm gonna take a little bit of that Tarte Shape Tape. Put that on my eyes and I'm going to lightly blend it out 
just to make sure my eyeshadows are really popping because I want to be popping, you know. You know, you know. All right, what are you talking about, Felicia? What are you doing? Get yourself in order. You're falling apart here. For the eye jumper right into the eyes, I already primed my eyelids, put some concealer on. I'm going to use this shade right here, Always Pink of Me. And it's a pretty pink matte shade. And I'm going to take my um, BH Cosmetics brush and I'm just going to lightly use that and buff it into my transition area. And these shadows are very, very pigmented. You can pick this palette up at Walmart. So now I'm gonna, for my second transition color, I'm gonna use this shade right here. It's called Totally Fawn of You. And it's like a taupey, I don't know, like kind of like a taupey-ish brown. And I hope that it looks nice next to that pink shade. If not, we'll go back over it with a deeper color. Actually, yeah, I don't know if I'm liking how, it, how it's looking. With the pink, I feel like it's not really showing up on this making this white. So forget it. I'm just going to scratch that. Let's go in with the shade Spice It Up. And it's this pretty like warm tone, orangish brown. And I'm just going to blend that. Ooh, that was pigmented. Wow. going to use this Morphe M508 brush. It looks like this. And it's very short and I feel like you you can get get what you need to do very precise. Why can't I never talk? I'm going to get myself in order, but yeah. I'm just placing that a little bit and I'm going to of course set the eyeshadow. I mean, set the concealer with that eyeshadow since it is a bare color. I'm gonna use and now I'm gonna use my Morphe M421 brush and it's like a smaller I don't know hold on it's a smaller like flat brush that you can use for concealer as well but I'm gonna tap into that shade and I'm gonna start to lightly place it and set the concealer So I'm 
gonna use the shade spice it up and the heat is on so these two shades and I'm gonna take those and press it into my outer to my outer V to blend out that like that harsh line from where the cut crease is that's as good as it's gonna get right now I don't know what I want to do with my eyes but I feel like I want a pop of color so I'm gonna use this wet and wow liquid eyeliner I picked up from Walmart it's in the shade blue I don't know I just feel like I want a pop of color and I wasn't gonna go this route but I just feel like hey why not I'm gonna see how it looks if it doesn't come out cute oh well this video still going up but yeah I'm just gonna take that and line over if I can never get this thing open I'm just going to line over where I put, I mean, where the cut crease is just to add a pop of color to my eyes. Okay, so now for liner, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner. And I've never used this on this um, on my channel before, but I have used this before. And I absolutely love it. It is a great eyeliner. It's jet black. The felt tip is very thin. So I'm going to just go ahead and line my eyes. I'm going to create a wing and then put some lashes on. I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line so I can hurry up and finish up the remaining portions of my face so now that my lashes are on I'm gonna go back in with that spice it up shade and I'm taking my small Juvia's place it's like a small fluffy like crease brush I'm just gonna use that to smoke out my bottom lash And so for highlighter, I'm going to be using this Brilliant Shimmer Cream by Sigma. And I've never really used a cream for my highlight. So I'm low-key nervous and excited at the same time to see how it looks. I'm going to actually swipe, swatch it for you guys on my hand. And it seems pretty lightweight, so it's not like it's super cakey or anything. And that's how it looks. Okay, so I'm going to tap into that and just lightly tap it onto my cheekbones. Let me find out this is about to be my new favorite highlight or my new way to put on a highlighter. What have I been missing? Okay, so I'm going to go in with the powder highlight or I may use one of my eyeshadows for my highlight. But I'm going to be using this Milani um, highlighting brush that I picked up from Walmart. It's a highlighter blending brush. And um, let's see, I don't know, it doesn't have a number. I think it's a 554 brush, but this brush really reminds me of the Anastasia, my Anastasia A23 brush. 
this is how my Anastasia A23 brush looks. And this is how the Milani brush looks. Except the Milani brush is like eight dollars eight or nine dollars and the anastasia is like 23 so they look somewhat similar this one seems to be just a little bit more wider but it seems to be a little bit flatter than this um actually but we're gonna see how this one works out um hold on okay so for my highlight i seen this pretty shade in the actual actually in the eyeshadow palette um it's the shade i think it's called afterglow and it's this one right here and I hope it's picking up it's so pretty it's like a it seems like a like champagne but it looks like it has a tint of pink I'm just gonna use that take this brush and I'm just gonna dab into that one and just pick up a little bit tap some off and then I'm just gonna place that right onto that highlight to set everything now since I feel like I have a lot going on with my eyes even though I don't know I guess it's not too much but I don't know I just want to keep the lips more simple so for lipstick or not lipstick I'm going to use a gloss today this is the new wet and wow the I think the zodiac collection they just recently launched and I was trying to see what color this is 677 Libra and I'm going to use this gloss. It's this pretty like pinky pearl shimmer iridescent looking pink. I don't know if it's showing up right on camera, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to use this and at first I'm going to line my lips with Max Plum. So we almost done for real this time. Before I go in with my mascara, I'm going to go in, go ahead and set my face. Um, this tutorial definitely came out longer than I expected. I was just looking to do uh, something really simple and show you guys some cool products. But clearly I've been here forever. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and take my Wet n Wild. This is the Finimat, um Photo Focus uh, Setting Spray. And it looks like that. Or maybe I think I was just... oh. I'm so stupid. I was reading the uh, the Spanish part of it. They have an English side and a Spanish part. So I'm like, finna mad. I'm like, what's that? But anyway, this is the matte finish <laughs> spray. The uh, photo focus by Wet n Wow. And it looks like this. Hopefully it's showing up for you guys. But anyways, um, I'm going to take it, uh, shake it up. And so you know how sometimes when you spray your face and that first chunk like flies on your face, I'm just going to spray it out that way first so we get the test run Ooh. I'm just low-key drying on myself because I feel like I put a lot of powders and I want my skin to be refreshed and feel a little bit more hydrated <clears throat> excuse me <coughs> no but now um, wrapping things up I think we're pretty much done after this I'm gonna use my Maybelline this is Maybelline Boom. Yes, it is. It's Maybelline. So my Maybelline uh, mascara is with the Gigi Hadid uh, collaboration they had. I'm just going to take that and kind of, I'm not going to put a lot, I don't think. But I'm just going to put a little bit on my bottom lashes just to coat them. Yep, I think that's pretty much it. I'm done. I've been sitting here for like three hours filming. Um, overall, I really love the products. Um, yeah, just about everything. I don't think I really have any complaints. 
uh, the foundation is good. It's good. I was gonna say great, but it's good. Um, it's not like super super matte. It is more of a semi matte. So if you guys want to check that out, like for your combo early oily girls um definitely look into that but i mean hey it's drugstore it's only like ten dollars so that's a great foundation the other products my tatcha my skincare my clinique those are absolutely great those are definitely going to be my staples um the palette eyeshadow palette great so pretty much everything i'm i don't even know i'm probably forgetting some stuff but just about everything that i try i really really like or if not it's like decent enough that i will still use it you know so yeah overall i hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you learned something. You got some cool tips. Let me go ahead. I'm just going to comb my hair down. I'm going to come back with some slow mos and I'll see you guys in my next video. Send me your location. Let's focus on communicating because I just need the time and place to come through. Send me your location. Let's ride the vibrations. I don't need. 